one Star Wars question every day until Solo Star Wars Story comes out. Day 2. Favorite film. My favorite film in the whole saga is actually kind of a strange one. It's not Empire Strikes Back, it's not A New Hope, I know. It is Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, I know it feels strange, like Nier, why is this your favorite film? There's plenty of cringy dialogue, horrible action, what the L moments, what? Why is this your favorite film? That's what you guys must be thinking right now. Well, yes, this film has plenty wrong with it. Like, I think there's like a half an hour straight of this, like, cut of this thing that I just constantly cringe at. <laughs> Pretty much every scene with Padme and Anakin, it's so god. But if, like, the main one reason I love this film so much is... It just feels to me like this is the major turn turning point in the Star Wars universe. It's kind of feels like everything since the beginning of, the, of Star Wars, like in the lore, since the beginning, all of it has been building up to Revenge of, of the Sith. Yeah, I know a film doesn't need outside content to help it be better. That's true, but for me, from the perspective as a Star Wars fan, it just feels like everything that has been leading to this movie. And yeah, you could apply pretty much the same thing even more to Return of the Jedi. But I just like dark endings a lot more. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the Jedi too, but I just love the dark side more. And Revenge of the Sith is one of the darkest Star Wars films and features the best villain ever in Star Wars. I'm of course talking about Palpatine. He just... He's just so amazing in this movie. Ian McDiarmid knocked it out of the park. If there's one very good actor in this trilogy, except for Ewan McGregor, it's Ian McDiarmid. He's so amazing as the Emperor. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on day three.